thank you for being with us today as we urge passage of our first bill, House Bill 2001. This bill is designed to correct an error that crept into Senate Bill 218 during the committee process in the Senate, the result of which was that certain violent offenders sentenced to life with mercy could receive expanded parole consideration. That was never the original intent of the governor's bill. And we are here today to fix that wrong. I want to thank Ms. Hazel Powell from the bottom of my heart for bringing this error to my attention and for your commitment to follow up on this to make sure everyone was educated as to the real effect of this bill. When she called my office last summer, she told me that under this bill, she and other families who have been victims of violent crimes would have to appear at yearly hearings in order to oppose the release of the criminals who had taken the lives of their loved ones. I knew we had to act swiftly. We all owe her a debt of gratitude. I pledged to Ms. Powell that if we could, could not get this done in a special session last year, that it would be my first order of business in 2011 session. When I explained the situation to Minority Leader Armstead, he agreed that we needed to move and that we needed to quickly address this unintended error. This bill has strong bipartisan support and is, and is an example of both parties working together to fix a problem. Uh, we certainly do agree that one of the roles of, of our body is to make sure that our criminal justice system works as it's intended to. And it's certainly never intended to cause additional pain to the families of the, the victims of violent crimes. And when this error was discovered, I think that there was universal support for moving forward to fix it as quickly as possible. And we recognize the urgency, the time urgency, so that we can avoid having any of these families have to go back through the painful details of the crimes that were committed against their loved ones. So we are very much in support of working together today to do this as quickly as possible to ensure that we can write the law as it was originally intended to be written by this legislature and that we move forward quickly and that all victims of crimes including the families of those who were the, the actual victims, uh, are protected from any unintended consequences of a bill such as was passed last year. So we are uh, certainly ready and willing to work with the Speaker, with the leadership of this legislature, to fix this problem immediately and move forward today to correct the problem. My name is Hazel Powell, and I'd like to thank uh, Senator Amstead and Senator Boggs. I'm, I'm sorry, Delicate Amstead and Boggs and Speaker Thompson for the opportunity to be here today to talk about House Bill 211. Um, I had a son that was murdered in 1992, a brutal murder. Uh, his, he, he only received 10 years for what he did to my son. I, uh, this is very hard for me, but I know that this is very hard for other people out here that are victims too. So I want to do all that I can to make sure that people understand what victims have to go through. You know, this is something you live every day of your life. You cannot put it behind you. You try. Um, but to have to go face the violent criminal that took your child's life or your family member's life every year is too much for any family member to endure. And uh, I hope today that uh, things will be set in motion to where this, this wrong can be right. And I'm sure that uh, everyone here feels the same way that I do. And I want to thank the speaker. 